Hi everyone, it's Alejandra and welcome to part three of my back to school supply haul. So yesterday I showed you um, the best school supplies I found at Walmart for less than 20 bucks. And then the day before I showed you uh, my favorite school supply finds at Dollar Tree for less than 20 bucks. And today, today's the last video, I'm gonna show you all of the uh, coolest school supplies I found at Target for less than 20 bucks. So just goes to show you don't have to have a really big budget to find like awesome school supplies. You can still shop on a um, like a $20 budget and get awesome stuff. So at the end of this video, I'm going to start um, a giveaway to, um, a donation giveaway to give all the school supplies I've shown in these three videos to one person that's going back to school um, this, uh, this season. And the way it's gonna work is I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video that you can fill out if you're interested or you know somebody who could use the um, school supplies. Um, just put your name, email, and then reason why you think like you need the school supplies or you know somebody who could use the school supplies. So yeah, that's how it's gonna work. Uh, so let me show you exactly what I found at Target. Okay, so the first thing I found at Target was this aqua blue binder. It's one and a half inches. It's made by Avery and it was actually on sale for $3. It was regularly $4, I think. Um, but what I liked about it was how the rings are on the back spine as opposed to the center spine. So a lot of binders you see, especially the ones that are like decorative or have a pattern on the outside, they have rings that are on the um, the middle spine. So you kind of want to avoid that because the papers kind of get caught and stuff and they're hard to turn, especially when you open and close the binder. So look for rings that are on the back spine. Um, so yeah, so $3 was, I thought was a great price and I liked the color. They had lots of other um, pretty colors and stuff. All right, let me just line that up before we continue. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I found was a gusseted binder pocket. So I originally showed this in my warranties and manual binder um, for holding like manuals and stuff, but I feel like it's a great addition to the school binder for holding um, packets of paper or extra paper or your composition notebook or a regular notebook or something. Um, but anyways, Target sells them for $1.19, which is a great price. I forget how much they are at Staples, but I think they're more expensive than $1.19. So Target is the place to get them. Um, but Target sells them in clear, purple, red, green, blue, and yeah, I think that's it. Um, but yeah, this is great, and it was $1.19. Okay, the next thing I found was this bright orange notebook. Now, this was $1.50. It was a little bit more expensive than 17 cents from yesterday's Walmart haul, but Target actually had notebooks for 17 cents also. But I feel like, I don't know, I really liked this one. It has a nice hard cover um, and the lines are dark. There's perforation on the edges and stuff. And I really liked the color. I feel like, I don't know, bright orange is just fun. And you could put stickers on it to decorate it or you could draw on it or something. Okay, so the next thing I found was a pack of uh, lined paper for 82 cents. So if you watched yesterday's Walmart haul, this was the same thing, same brand, same amount of paper and same price. So Target and Walmart are the best places to get lined paper because they have the, um, the best prices. Okay, next thing I found was a fun black and white polka dot composition notebook for 75 cents. So Target actually had composition notebooks for 50 cents. Yeah, they were 50 cents, but this one had a little bit of a thicker cover and it had fun patterns and stuff. Um, so I was like, okay, well, if I only have 20 bucks, I think I'll splurge and spend the extra quarter and get the nicer composition notebook. And then I felt like you could always like color in these, um, these white polka dots with your markers and just make it like more colorful. So yeah, so I splurged and spent the extra quarter to get the fun composition notebook. I found these in the dollar bin. These are so fun. They're sticker labels that says, hello, my name is, and they have them in five different fun colors. And I just feel like you could put like you know, one of them on each thing, like one in your notebook, one in your composition notebook and stuff. And so if, if you lose something, you know, people can return to you because it's labeled. And these are just fun and colorful and you can like cor color, cor uh, color coordinate the labels with what you're labeling. So if I was gonna label this orange notebook, I would probably put the purple, hello, my name is, because purple and orange look nice together. <laughs> so, that was a dollar and I found them in the bin right when you walk inside Target. Okay, so the next thing I found was this mini size composition notebook. And I saw this and I was like, oh, this is so cute. I've never seen a mini size composition notebook. And immediately I was like, well, what am I really gonna use this for? I only have 20 bucks. Like, do I really need to spend a dollar 99 on this? But then I was thinking, you know, I got everything else I needed and I was like, okay, I guess I can splurge on this. And I figured I would keep it, if I was in school, I would keep it in the um, like 
the pocket in the bottom of your backpack for like quick notes. Like if you just need a quick sheet of paper, you just pull this out and you write your notes. Okay, so the next thing I got was a five pack of post-it notes in fun pastel colors. Now, the reason why I got pastel colors and I actually looked for the pastel colors is because sometimes if you have like a lighter pen, like a red pen, and you write on a dark, bright post-it note, it doesn't always show up because the ink is kind of light and the paper is dark. But if you have a nice light pastel post-it note, like any color ink will show fine and it won't like, you know, mask what you're trying to write. So this was $2.79. It was a little bit more expensive than the Target Up and Up brand, but they were actually out of the Target brand. So I probably would have gotten the Target brand if they had them. Okay, so next I found a two pack of yellow pen Sharpie highlighters for 88 cents. I feel like 88 cents was the sale price. I'm not really sure, but I think this was the sale price. I don't think it was originally 88 cents, but I feel like that was a really good deal compared to the, all the other Sharpie brand highlighters and I love the yellow one, so two to a pack um, was, I don't know, it was just a great find. Okay, so next I bought a two pack um, of Pentel roller gel pens for $3.69. I feel like I totally splurged on these considering this was the most expensive thing that I bought at Target, but like I said in yesterday's Walmart haul, I feel like you just don't wanna you know, go cheap with the pens since you're using the pen all day long for taking notes and doing your homework and you know, just writing in general. So that's why I spent a little bit more um, on these nice pens. Okay, and so the last thing I got was a 10 pack of colorful Ticonderoga pencils. Now, this brand, Ticonderoga, is new to me. I've always like, like recently I've seen it in the stores and recently I've read about it, but I never really caught my eye before until I just kept seeing it everywhere and then I did my own research and tried out the pencil and it's like the best wooden pencil. I wish I would have known about these when I was in school. Um, I always use mechanical pencils, but if I was gonna go to school, I would totally get these because they just write really smoothly and they have a nice clean eraser. And this brand makes fun, colorful colors only sold at Target. Like you can see here, let me try and zoom here. It says right there, can you see that? It says only at Target. Um, so you can't find them at the grocery store or um, other places, at least I've never seen them. And so this was $2.89, so it's a little bit more expensive than your traditional yellow wooden pencil. Um, but like I said, if I was going to school, I would spend the extra money um, to get the colorful pencils and then go cheap in other areas like, um, you know, getting the not so nice highlighters or um, notebook or something. So yeah, so those are the pencils. Okay, so that's everything I found at Target. The total amount spent was $20.56, so I was over by 56 cents. Now, if I wanted to be under budget, I probably would have pulled out the um, pink mini composition notebook, because it's just because I feel like that's like a nice to have, not really a need to have. Like I could really only think of one purpose for it, and I just, I really don't need that. So I would have pulled that out to be, um, like a dollar and a half under budget. Now, the two things that I don't have here um, that I didn't find at Target were dividers and a pencil case. I don't know if I went at a bad time, but they just didn't have any dividers that I was really crazy about. And the pencil cases, I know they have a good selection. Um, they just didn't have any that I really, um, you know, wanted to get um, that was under $2 that if I would have found it, I would have replaced it with, with this, but I just didn't see one. So anyways, that is everything I found at Target. I hope you found this video helpful. If you missed um, part one and part two of this back to school supply haul, you can check them out on my channel. I basically did the same thing you see here, but I spent $20 at Dollar Tree and then I spent $20 at Walmart. Um, anyways, I will link them below and you can check them out. If you want more back to school organizing videos, you can check out my website at alejandra.tv and I will see you soon. Bye.